Then the next thing I heard was bah on the floor. I was kind of scared, guys. So see, I was scared there. Hey, I was so scared though. I was like. Welcome back to my channel guys my name is Bikumi aka BK Crown and you're watching BK Crown Space so guys I'm going to be sharing an experience with you something that actually happened can you imagine that 8 years old drunk girl fainted in front of me in the shop like on her way to me I actually didn't know that she was high she was drunk you know this is what happened though she came to buy something at the provision store then i was helping the person to sell the items to her then the next thing i heard was bah on the floor i was kind of scared guys so see i was scared there hey i was so scared though i was like hey god like she was on the floor for like almost 15 seconds before she stood up i was even calling her name like stand up what's wrong, what's wrong? and you guys might be thinking okay how come somebody comes to buy something and I, you know she was you know i Normally, the girl she works anyhow. Anytime she's working, she's always staggering, staggering, staggering. So, me, I thought maybe she's kind of tired or she's feeling sleepy. You know, a small girl that doesn't work properly on a normal day, you think maybe that's what is wrong with her. Unknown to me, I didn't know that she was actually high, guys. Before I go further, guys, please, hey, if you are a parent, please don't put your child in charge of businesses like this let me shock you guys let me shock you with this you can't believe that our mom our mom actually sells alcohol shorts and cigarettes that's our mom's business so that day our mom left her and went for uh, a ceremony so I'm sure maybe the girl was kind of thirsty. She noticed that a lot of people could always buy things from her mom. And most of the time, it's bike men that buy things from her mom. Olokata. Okada men, riders. They are the ones that always buy all these shots from her. So, please, I beg of you, if you are into such businesses, don't you involve, don't, like, don't put them in charge of such businesses if you are not around. Anyway, you are going to carry them like your handbag, especially female child. I just don't understand and the thing was that that day was school session she didn't go to school that day and i don't know why her mom didn't enroll her in any school even though yes private school might be expensive at least there's public school she should have not sent her to public school it's still something that allowing your child to follow you to your shop and be experiencing such things and seeing people buying it she will not know what that thing is so that day she came to buy something at uh let me say yeah she came to buy something at my sister's shop then all of a sudden i don't know but the first time she came i said to her she bought sweets she bought uh, drink and she bought biscuits i attended to her but i didn't actually take note of the way she was working then when she came again like 10 minutes later she came to buy something again she came to buy sweets so when I noticed that, okay, this girl, the way she's actually working, ah, she's not going to pour these items on the floor. Like, the way she was taking the suit there, it's as if she wanted to fall the shelf down where we keep uh, the provision stuff inside. I quickly went to meet her that, ah, okay, oh, before this small girl pour all the sweets on the floor, let me go and thank to her. Then I gave her the sweets. While trying to hand the sweet over to her, then she fell down. I was like, hey. What's actually going on here? Then the woman next to our shop was like, ah, it seems this girl is drunk. She's high. I was like, are you sure? Later, I was like, it seems she's drunk. We are now tapping at her. Wake up, wake up, wake up. What's wrong with you? When she woke up, she was still staggering, staggering, staggering. I was like, what did you take, you this girl? Why? Why? You took a call. I said, go for a pit, though. I can never take a call. I said, ah, you this girl. You will not say the truth now. I was not telling the woman that she's in influence of a call. So she will not actually get herself. So I gave her the sweets. Then she went back to her mom's shop. Then when she went back to her mom's shop, she was just lie, lying down on the bench. Maybe she lied down on the bench like this. She fell down. People were really concerned about her. And you know me, I didn't want to go there because, you know, my sister was there, my mom was there. Do not say that was my own in this matter. She's opposite our shop. You have to cross the road before you can actually go and meet her. Then few people gathered, they were like, is this girl actually okay? I don't think this small girl is okay. 
then uh, a good Samaritan went to meet her that okay, oh, uh, come and stay at my shop. They tried to take care of her. She persisted. She was so adamant. She was like, no, she's not going anywhere. That she's not high or she's not drunk. Or there's nothing wrong with her. Ah. So that woman she had dragged her to her shop. The woman sell fried fish. Immediately she dragged her to her shop. The girl ran from that woman's shop. No, that woman was she was attending to a customer. Then all of a sudden the small girl left that woman's shop. Then she went back to her mommy's shop where she sells the odds and the no cigarettes stuff. Then when she was lying down, she fell down again. But then like, what are we going to do about this girl? She doesn't want to listen to anybody. So later, had the riders, they now went to meet Tada. Ah, you this girl, what's wrong with you now? Why are you falling down like that? Ah, why did you take your mommy's alcohol? That ah, you this eight years old girl, you, she was just shouting at them that why would she take her call? That you should stop saying nonsense. So this is, I was hearing her voice, her voice was loud. Then, to cut those story short, the mother actually came back like an hour later. Then when she came back, yeah, she was attending to the girl. Everybody just mind their business. I was even surprised that they could actually mind their business like that. I was even thinking that all those women were gonna meet a mother trying to you know talk to her and everything. They just they were just looking at the mother and the child from afar. The way the woman was trying to attend to the girl, then she vomited. Eight years old girl that said she was not drunk. Oh. She, she kept telling people that I'm not high. I didn't take a call. I didn't. She vomited seriously. Before she could vomit, she was crying, crying, crying. But she was so restless. Then she vomited. She now slept off. When she slept off. So I'm trying to say that please, if you're a mother, please don't put your female child in charge of all this kind of business. It's not. It's not healthy for them. Like they are trying to destroy their future, their life. You understand? As this girl went to school now. Something like this wouldn't have happened. Even though that you don't have someone that can that you can put in charge of your business, close it down till you come back. When you come back in the afternoon, you open it. And it's not that the woman has a shop like that. She has just a table, then a bench, then she's selling her alcohol, drinks, and everything there. So please, guys, this 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 story here. I'm just thankful to God that she fainted that day. It was nothing that serious, but I don't know what would have happened to me. And you know, before she could recover back, it took some seconds. <laughs> so, there are some people that they will fall down and they will die in that process but thank god that she fell down she woke up and she left and there was no issue don't say i put her in front of our shop i was so happy because uh, this i'm just thankful to god that nothing actually happened so guys this is um, all i have for you today's video if not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button beside this you'll see the notification bell Turn on that notification bell, like, share this video for me, and let's continue this discussion in the description box. Love you all. Stay blessed. Bye.